I wasted my three years of my career. This year, I will complete almost like 12 plus years of experience as a software tester. I would have doubled my package if I have not made these 11 mistakes. Probably you are also making the same mistake. So in this video, I'm going to discuss about the 11 mistakes that I regret doing it in my first, when I have started first three years of my career, okay? And I would highly encourage you not to do these kind of mistakes because those will basically hamper your salary, will hamper your career growth and multiple things, all right? So let's get started. Now, like guys, mistake number one, inactivity, no activity on LinkedIn. Guys, when I have started my career, right, I had no activity on LinkedIn. My LinkedIn profile was very bad. It was basic, no profile picture was added, nothing was added. And due to that, I have lost lot of things, okay? I have lost lot of opportunities because see, LinkedIn is the first thing that people see whenever generally you apply for an interview, right? Probably, for example, whenever you apply to any website, right? For example, let's suppose you apply for Wingify, then Wingify HR probably will look you on the LinkedIn, right? And that was the one of the mistake that I have done. Now, if you know, right now, we I have almost 25,000 followers on LinkedIn. I have well optimized and I have done multiple things in this case, right? So don't make this mistake. Mistake number one is make sure that your LinkedIn is up to date and you share everything. If you need, I have basically conducted one hour of session about how to basically optimize your LinkedIn. Link will be in the description. Do let me know. Uh, you can check out that free training in this case, okay? Second one is delay in the starting personal channels, right? Delay in the personal brand, which was what exactly mean means promote. See, in my first three years of experience, there are things that you need to do which are important. For example, you can start your blog, you can start your YouTube channel, you can start your Instagram, you can basically write something on the LinkedIn, right? Which are very, very important. Guys, trust me, I this is one of the important learning I have seen. Whenever you have a personal brand, it basically helps you to get the job also. And this is one of the things that you have to do. If you are just starting out as a career, are you? if you are a fresher, even if you have three years, four years experience or anything like this in your right now, what you need to do immediately is to start creating a personal brand, which means sharing whatever you are learning. You can start a blog. You can start a simple blog. You can start a medium blog. You can write on medium.com. You can basically write on Twitter. You can write on LinkedIn. You can write on any platform which you prefer. Guys, this is one of the most important thing. Create a personal brand. This is one of the mistakes that don't make this mistake. My initial days of uh, three, four years, I have made the mistake and this was the learning. Okay. And the third thing, which is neglecting the networking. Guys, network Networking is the most important thing. I remember my maximum, right? Like for example, in my 12 years experience, right? I have switched like four, five times and maximum time out of that three, four times because of networking, I had connected with some of the people. They have, they basically helped me to switch my job. Okay. So networking is the most important thing. Attend the conferences. There are multiple conferences related to software testing and everything are going on. Some of them are online. Some of them are offline. For example, we organize, I organize browser tech meetups, right? You can come there there are people who will interact with you they will help you to get a new job also so networking is also important which is proper thing you need to pay attention and fourth thing not showcasing my automation or manual testing projects on github github.com if you know right guys it is one of the important resource for the to showcase your projects if you see my github repository right if you navigate to github repository let me show you whenever see after LinkedIn, what people do is they generally see your GitHub repository, how much code you have done. For example, in this profile, I have basically optimized. I have see if you see the green things, it means I am regularly working on GitHub. I have multiple repositories. I generally showcase all of my, for example, automation frameworks, Python automation framework, web automation framework, whatever I generally create, you can showcase those projects. All these things I have talked about in my one of my video, how to create a automation profile also, right? Those things you can guys can leverage, which are very, very important. Okay. So showcase your projects to get a ahead of all things. Okay. Next one, overlooking for the freelancing opportunities. Guys, apart from the software testing job that you are doing, for example, suppose you get a job as a software tester, as a fresher or anything, right? You have to find the alternate things or extra salary or some freelancing opportunity. I remember when I was working as a software tester, right? There was one of my friend who was basically launching a, a application. I helped him to basically release that application. And after that, this application, because of those applications, those guys basically started their own venture 
and I was hired as a QA lead there. So you can think about the opportunity. So don't miss any freelancing opportunity. I used to do a lot of time freelancing on the multiple websites. I remember it was Bugzone, Bug, Bugzilla. There are multiple, not Bugzilla, Bugzone and there are other websites which I have mentioned in the 11 websites. There was a video also I have created, right? If you raise any bug, you will get $50 and everything, right? So if you find any kind, any kind of these websites or you can help your friend also, right? Make sure you don't lose this opportunity and apply those things as skills, okay, which are important. Okay, next one is failure to set the career goal, guys. This is very, very important. Don't make this mistake. When I have started as a manual tester, then initial first two, three years, I was just lost. What you need to do immediately set the goal. For example, as a manual test, if you are a manual tester, learn API testing. If you are an API tester, learn output automation, become a QA lead after four years. For example, after five years, you can become a automation lead, right? After six, seven years, you can become a QA manager or a SDAT manager or automation lead. For example, after 12 years or 15 years, you can go for your director of quality. All these things you need to make sure that you have everything in mind. Now, I've, after 12 plus year experience, I have completely everything in mind. For example, 15 to 16 years of experience and I have, I will be a director of quality in one of these uh, unicorn company, right? So this is how you have to prepare your goals. Make sure you have a goals. If you don't, ha if you know, don't know how to set up these goals and everything, make sure you talk to other people and talk to me, talk to other mentors who will help you this, okay? Next one is over emphasis on technical skills skills guys you have to this is this is also true also false where you need to keep adding new skills that right the moment i have added the skills related to devops i got a new job the moment i have added the skills related to for example kafka rabbit mq right all these extra skills when i have added docker skills i have added docker swarm i have added kubernetes related things i have added jenkins skills i have added ci cd skills mostly or you can say devops skills when i have added i got selected immediately in the browse tech which almost doubled my package at that time so make sure that you keep on adding these skills, right? This is very, very important. Every stage of your time, you need to keep adding more and more skills in this case, which is important. Next one is resistant to change. Guys, change will happen. For example, when I was working, I have started my career uh, with e-commerce e website. Then we moved to a mobile application domain. Then we moved to a some, for example, some of the OS that we have launched, uh, mobile OS in Crew Essence we have launched. After that, I moved to a web automation or a normal web website, a SaaS project. Then we moved to uh, another SaaS project, which is related to CR and everything. One was related to customer relationship management. One was related to different thing, right? So there will be a changes in the projects. You have to change, adapt, and you have to be flexible to basically resistant to change. Don't be like, okay, I will not learn this. I am an e-commerce website. I am an e-commerce expert. I will not move to mobile application. No, you have to change something. You have to adapt. This is very, very important that I think. And the last one is roadmap for everything, guys. You should have roadmap for everything. For example, if you want to become a manual tester, automation, web performance testing, security, anything you want to learn. For example, I have launched the Python automation blueprint batch, which is basically going to start. Make sure you check it out. A link in the description, right? If you want to learn Python, Java, anything, right? Make sure you follow the roadmaps, which are very, very important. Without roadmaps, nothing else will happen. You will not reach to anywhere. Roadmaps are way to go to learn any concepts. Okay. So this is very, very important. So these are the mistakes that you don't have to make, right? And this is what I regretted. I have basically talked about. I hope you have liked this video. Let me know which mistake in the initial career, which you have made because of that, probably you have not got, uh, you have not doubled your salary, not got a decent company or something like this. Right? Do let me know in the chat. Give this like. It is a genuine video where I have discussed about all the things, mistakes which I have done. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.